speaking to business line of the Hindu during his visit to participate in the OTM travel show in Mumbai. Minister of Tourism, Lands, Youth Affairs and Sports Harin Fernando revealed the Adani Group is negotiating with Sri Lankan authorities to manage three airports in the island nation, including the Bandaranaik International Airport in Katnaika. Fernandez said the modalities are being discussed between the two sides and could involve management contracts as well. According to Business Line, the airports being offered are the Bandaranaika International Airport, the Ratmalane Airport in Colombo and the Mattala Rajapaksa International Airport. While expressing confidence that Sri Lanka will be able to achieve the target of 2.3 million tourists this year, the minister added that the country aims to attract 4 million visitors by 2030, for which massive development projects are essential. Meanwhile, speaking at a panel discussion on the OTM 2024 travel show theme, Is the World Ready for the Indian Traveller? Tourism Board's perspective, the Sri Lankan Tourism Minister said the government is considering the extension of the visa-free status for India beyond March. I'm glad to say in last November I was able to put a special cabinet approval to do a pilot for seven countries, which includes India, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia and few countries, just a pilot, but India heads away, Russia. It's visa-free right now, but they have to go through an ETA system which is only for record purposes. Most travel agents do that for them. But uh, currently for Indians, it's visa-free. It will go on till March, but I'm quite hopeful I can extend it. Just charging $20 for a visa and getting a person coming there, they spend much more than the $20. So if that is the trigger factor to get people down, garments should be more sensible if you're a tourism destination to make sure that you relax the visas, at least on the potential countries that brings you the tourism. So that just hop on an aircraft and just make yourself available. Just so you won't take a break. Just leave the country or leave the home and nobody knows and you'll be in Sri Lanka. So that should be the concept that I would like to see our Indians have that option to do with Sri Lanka. So it's going on in Sri Lanka and we are hoping to have more than 160 officers in the world through a VFS centers to facilitate this, promote Sri Lanka, etc. That's the next step that we are working on. Our tagline is Sri Lanka, you'll come back for more. One of the reasons we chose this was 33% of the travelers to Sri Lanka are repeaters. They fall in love with the place, they keep coming back. So I hope your next visit is going to be Sri Lanka and you'll keep coming back to Sri Lanka more.